Do you use a nanny to take care of your children? Or did you hire a private educator or a housekeeper to help you out during this crazy time? If so, you may be considered a household employer and need to file a W-2 for those employees. The distinction between an employee and an independent contractor is really important because an employer files and pays employment taxes for their employees while contractors are responsible for their own taxes. The IRS uses a 20 factor test to determine whether someone is an employee or an independent contractor. The most important factor is who controls the work. If you have the right to control when and how the person does the work, you are an employer. Now, no matter what the situation, babysitters and nannies are always considered employees by the IRS. You cannot issue them a 1099. And you are really missing what you are trying to accomplish by filing and paying those taxes if you issue them a 1099. Now, if you paid more than $2,200 to any one person or $1,000 in any quarter of 2020, you are required to pay employment taxes. So that includes your share of Social Security and Medicare taxes and federal and state unemployment taxes. You're also responsible for collecting and submitting the employee's share of the Social Security and Medicare taxes and if they want any federal or state withholdings taken from their pay. And then finally, you are responsible for issuing a W-2. And if you did not withhold those FICA taxes, the Social Security and Medicare, you have to pay both shares. So you'll have to pay that for your employee. Those W-2s are due by January 31st um, each year. Um, you can do them online or most accountants like me can do them for you. There are also some forms that you then need to use in your tax return to pay those taxes in. There is Schedule H in which you calculate and pay in the federal withholding, both shares of the Social Security and Medicare and the federal um, unemployment tax. A lot of states will let you pay in the state withholdings through the state tax return, and there may be a separate form for state withholdings and or state unemployment taxes. In addition, if you are engage, engaging a household employee, try to use that um, dependent care account or take the child independent care credit because those are eligible expenses for that. I'm Lisa Nicer. I'm ready to take on taxes together with you and make it a lot less scary. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like ongoing tax tips when there's something useful to share, please also consider signing up for my email newsletter. There's a link to it in the description for this video.